good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. It is that time to dive into the opposite of what we did a couple days ago. The other day, guys, we covered the best WWE Elite action figures of 2020, and today we're going to go to the 2020 side of 2020, and we're going to cover the shit side. We're going to cover the figures that didn't quite get up to par. As you can see, we still have our massive wall of the best figures of the year. You guys can see that Mattel absolutely crushed it this year with all of their releases, like Oh my god, this was the best year by far to be a WWE figure collector. And while there was a ton of amazing releases this year, there were some releases that were not quite up to par, that just didn't quite make the cut, and maybe here's the line and they just, they tried to get it and they just couldn't do it. I don't know what the hell that was. Now, just because a figure is on this list does not mean by any means that it doesn't have any redeeming qualities or it's not, you know, worth the pickup at all and you should just throw it away. There are some good things about these figures in some aspects. I think all of them have at least one solid quality about them. But out of all the figures this year, these are probably at the bottom of the barrel. So let's go ahead and dive in, guys. Let's start off with Elite Series 75 and let's start off with Jeff Hardy. Now, this is absolutely absurd that this would even be on the thing, but I think everything from the neck down is great. I just did not see Jeff Hardy in this head sculpt. I just don't see Jeff. Do you guys see Jeff? Where is Jeff? Who is this? Is this Kevin? Is this Jeffrey? Is this Jephonathan? Is this Jeffosi? I'm not feeling Jeff. I just don't see Jeff. I feel like at certain angles it looks like Jeff, and like I love the idea of the head sculpt with the purple hair and the facial hair and everything like that, but this dark facial hair going on and then you got like, it's like it kind of looks like Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy's cousin. If they even have a cousin, that's what this kind of reminds me of. But the neck down, like again, the necklace is nice. The white tank tops is brilliant. I love everything about the figure, except for the head. So I had to add him here. Next up, guys, is going to be Elite Series 81 Rock Athena. Now this one right here, yeah, it just wasn't a great release. You know, it did have the updated tattoo, but they did give him the smaller torso. Now I have since fixed up mine, so it doesn't have the smaller torso, but this is the torso that they gave him. Just not accurate for the rock. Uh, you guys know once he went Hollywood, he started putting on muscle after muscle after muscle. Now the man is absolutely jacked. And this torso just didn't do it for me. The release was just eh. Um, I feel like the head scan, I like the head scan a lot more now than I did when it first released. But I also feel like he's too short. I just don't see him. And I don't know, man. It just it just didn't move the needle for me. I thought it was a very, very weak release. So I'm going to put it here. And uh, it does have a good, nice cloth shirt, though, I will say. Next up, guys, is going to be Elite Series 77. And we're diving into Ronda Rousey. Now, Ronda Rousey, I have since made a custom out of this figure. Uh, I made sort of like a UFC attire where it's got Rowdy and then she's got the UFC, you know, Conor McGregor legs and everything like that so she can fight in the UFC now with her UFC gloves and everything. But for me, this figure is just, I don't know, it was just weak and I think the, the main thing that makes it weak is gotta be, it's gotta be the Ultimate Edition, right? The Ultimate Edition is probably one of my favorite figures that Mattel's ever made and then when you put it up next to this, it just doesn't get up to par and now this one can get up behind it and just put it in the rear neck could choke and just, 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 just kill her. Just kill her. She got her now. It's over. So, yeah, for that reason, at least 77 Ronda Rousey was just kind of weak for me, and uh, it just didn't move the needle, and Ultimate Edition reigns supreme. That's what you get. Next up, guys, is going to be Elite Series 77 AJ Styles. Now, I think everybody will agree with me here. I think it's just because it's another black attire. We have been waiting on a red attire AJ Styles, and we finally get a red attire, and what is it? It's not even red. It's black, mainly, with red accents. I think everybody out there in the world wants a red attire AJ Styles. And what made it worse is that this was a SummerSlam themed wave and I'm pretty sure he wore a red attire at SummerSlam. Hey guys, this is Editing Trey and AJ Styles did not wear a red attire at SummerSlam, so... You're wrong, you dumb idiot piece of shit. And so, them giving us this was just weak. He also did only had one red kick pad. I have since fixed it up. I put on open knee pads, I think. He may have had open knee pads. I feel like he came with these, though, but it had this head sculpt. The reason I'm putting this here is so you guys can see what head sculpt it came on, because I made mine, and I broke the neck a little, but you guys can notice a theme in this video. Most of the figures in this video have fix-ups made to them, because I didn't like the original release. But you guys can see here, Elite 77 AJ Styles, just very weak. It also had the OC logo on there, and it had that 
that. It had that lettering knee pad, and it just wasn't, it wasn't up to par. Next up, guys, is probably one of my least favorite releases of the year. It's got to be the WrestleMania Edge. Now, obviously, I've since switched the torso. I switched the head sculpt, but this is kind of what the figure looked like. Of course, he did have black hand tape on it, but this is pretty much what the figure looked like. Just look at this no neck. Same, this is the torso that came on the original WrestleMania figure. This is the original head sculpt, and the only thing that's different is kind of the camo pants and the black hand tape, but the jacket that it comes with couldn't even fit on the figure. It just was really wonky. You couldn't move it once the thing was on there. It was super hard to get on there to begin with, get up under the hair. I also don't like that you can see the neck attached to this head sculpt. This head sculpt's much better in my opinion. It looks way more like Edge. And I don't know, man. This was just weak for me. We've been wanting for a, you know, a more ripped up torso for Edge, a better torso option for Edge. And this just wasn't it for me. And it just sat weird on the body. Maybe if the head sculpt, maybe if this head sculpt was on this body, on this figure maybe, but I don't know, man. I just wasn't feeling it as a combination altogether. And this is probably one of the top worst figures of the year for me, in my own personal opinion. We're still going to do a top 10 worst figures of the year, but this one will probably be in there. Next up, guys, is going to be the WCW 2-pack Brett the Hitman Heart. Now, I don't think the head sculpt's bad. It's the same Ultimate Edition head sculpt, so we don't get anything new in that capacity. Also, just the main reason for this is the salmon color of the tights. I just don't see the Bret Hart pink in here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I compared the photos to the matchup with Goldberg and everything, and this pink is not accurate. I really don't know what the deal is with this pink. Maybe they just wanted to change it up a little bit, but for me, it just didn't do it for me. There's so many more better elite Bret Hart's out there, and this right here, it just did not do it for me. I do like the logos and everything. I love the boots. I think Bret Hart's got some of the best boots, but when you compare the boot color to the actual salmon color of the orangish pink, like infrared, I don't know what the hell you would even call this color, but look at the difference in the colors. Like, this isn't even like a lighter portion of this pink. This is like on a whole different spectrum of pink color, so that one had to go on the list for me. I just, I don't know, man. Just wasn't feeling that one. Next up, guys, it's going to be the Decade of Domination John Cena. Now, this one had a lot of potential with it. One thing that I didn't like about it out of the packaging is the is the rubber t-shirt. You guys know that the rubber shirts just aren't, you know, aren't very good. He has just, it's just a very plain figure. Like, out of all the great looks that John Cena has had and stuff, I know you can't really, you know, get into you know, uh, very specifics on the jersey and stuff, but you could have given us a cloth jersey just with, you know, without the logos, like we got with the Defining Moments figure, his uh, draft lottery figure, uh, the black solid wristbands, it's still the same, like, we need updated ankles for these John Cena's, and you guys know, if you own one of these John Cena's, you know exactly what I'm talking about, you try to stand him up and the ankles cave in, that Rock figure, the Elite 81 Rock has that same exact problem, any figure that has this shoe mold always wants to lean forward, it's just like the joints aren't good enough, they need to retool it, they need to remaster it at some point. That's been in the line since the very beginning in Elite Series 3, and I think it's absolutely outdated. It definitely needs to be upgraded, but I don't know, very stiff leg. It's just, it's just so plain. It's super duper plain, and to be one of my favorite wrestlers, it had to be disappointing for me, so that had to come in on the list. Next up, guys, is going to be the WCW 2-Pack Triple H. Now, I will say I love uh, this era of Triple H. I also love the cloth robe that you get right here with our Hunter Hearst Helmsley or Triple H figure, and it goes hand in hand with our China figure out of the packaging, but if you're buying this two-pack, you're absolutely buying it, maybe for the robe, but you're you're mainly buying it for the China figure, and just the attire they chose isn't very noteworthy, you know, it's got the blue innards, it's got the H logos here in the green, but I would have liked to have seen a better version of Triple H, uh, you know, as far as the gear is concerned, maybe the lime green and black with the HHH, or any of those HHH attires would have been really nice in this two-pack, but it is what it is, not the biggest deal, but it definitely, it, just, it was just kind of disappointing, and I guess maybe because it was a two-pack, maybe they couldn't do a lot of it, and it couldn't be real creative, but I don't know, man. I like the robe, though. The robe is very nice. Next up, guys, we're getting into a figure that I kind of had on my honorable mentions. I'm just going to honorable mention this real quick. The Jake the Snake Roberts figure, I don't hate the head sculpt. I just feel like the torso compared to the legs is just very off for me. Like, I feel like his torso is super short compared to his long legs. I also love the boots on this guy. That's why I didn't want to give him an official entry, because I actually like this figure. It's got some redeeming qualities. I like the bag, the snake, uh, uh, the boots and the, the head sculpt and everything. It's just, I, I don't know. I just had to mention the short torso with the long legs. Next up, guys, it's going to be Elite Series 82 Rob Football Gronkowski, man. The only good thing about this figure is that it has a bomb-ass jacket. Bomb-ass MDT jacket. After that, I just, I am not feeling it. I just, I, I don't th I don't know how well this figure is going to sell. I just don't think this figure was needed whatsoever. It was just kind of a gimme release. It's just like a ha-ha, look at this. So I don't know, man. It just, I think a lot of people would probably agree. I think it is cool 
cool that they tried to step out of the box and having celebrity figures is pretty cool, but just, I don't know. Wasn't really feeling it. It's very plain besides the jacket. The jacket's bomb, not gonna lie. The jacket is absolutely fantastic. I'm not big on the head sculpt either, just wacky looking head sculpt. I don't know. Also, I think it's just the fact that he came, he hosted, he got a figure and he left, and then we still have people running around that don't have figures. It's kind of frustrating in that capacity as well, so maybe that also has something to do with it. He literally was there for one night, signed a contract, and then went back to football with Tampa Bay and the Buccaneers. So there you go. Rob Gronkowski. Getting into the last couple guys, we gotta go with the ringside exclusive Bray Wyatt. Now this one's obvious. I think the main thing being is that the basic is obviously better. The head sculpts are pretty much the same. You get a little hair fade going on right here, but if you guys just look at the sweater, this is pretty much just a painted torso, painted sleeves, painted on thing. It looks like he's wearing an Under Armour or something like that, but on the basic, you get this nice sculpted cuffs. You get the nice sculpted wrinkles. You get the nice sculpted collar. You get the nice khaki pants. This is what you envision when you look at Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt, and this is not what you envision. So when they released this, if they would have had the sculpted shirt, the khaki pants, everything like that, I think the figure would have been way better. It's just so plain Jane. It looks kind of wonky just standing there. Uh, it's got black slacks instead of the khaki pants. I know it was based on Money in the Bank, I think, when he took on Braun, but it just, it could have been so much better. The only thing you'd want to pick up this figure for is the puppet accessories and the Firefly Funhouse background, which I completely understand. Also, this figure is super duper short, like super duper short. Look how short this figure is compared to other guys. Where is the, I mean, you got John Cena. John Cena towers over him. And I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just obvious. Like anybody will say, the basic is better than the Elite in this, in this actual comparison here. And I had to put the ringside exclusive Bray Wyatt on there. Last but not least, guys, we have to get into Elite Series 80, 81. I think it's 81. Elite 81 Angelo Dawkins. This figure right here, I thought at the time of release, I was like, you know what? This is a pretty good football figure. I think it's all right. It's not the best. I don't like how big it is. You can't move this torso. The Braun Strowman torso is uh, probably too big, but after further analyzation of Angelo Dawkins and seeing him, man, he's much more slimmer than this. He's not near as broad as this and as big. I just feel like this guy looks gigantic in this figure, and I just don't think it resembles Angelo Dawkins in figure form. I feel like they could have done a much better formula, much better torso. I feel like maybe the... I don't even know what torso you could use. I'm trying to think of the torso. I had it the other day. Maybe I can pull up an image there, but I think BEW made some customs of Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, and he was in the process of making some, and that torso and formula looks so much better for Angelo Dawkins. I just, I don't know, man. I think that formula would have worked way better. This one's just absolutely too huge, and it's probably too far gone now. It's going to be like AJ Styles. If they ever make another one, it's going to be way too big, and his figure will always be out of scale. And now that you put this head sculpt on this torso, I don't think you can even fix it. I don't think you could put this head sculpt on a smaller torso and it look actually okay. So it's probably going to be messed up for a little bit, but that pretty much does it for my worst figures of the year, man. I, I tried to do my best to make this. I'll probably put them in a top 10 countdown and release that later in the month, but that pretty much adds it up. Overall, I mean, when you compare the, not only the amount of figures that we got, but also the amount of amazing figures we got, the worst figures don't even really hold a candle to it, but they also definitely deserve to be put in a, in a list ranking like this, or at least in a list here, so that we can go over and talk about the places where, you know, maybe they came up a little bit short, but that's not the biggest deal, but it absolutely deserves to be talked about. There's just a lot of questionable things about some of these figures, and I wanted to uh, make this video to showcase some of those things, but before we get out of here, guys, we gotta get into our random shout-out. Our random shout-out is gonna go to too risky underscore Kalen here, or too risky dot underscore Kalen. He says, I stepped over with the frowning emoji or the let down emoji, and he's referring to the end of my videos where I, you know, where, 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 you know, you cross the line there, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, stay tuned to the very end of the video to find out what I'm talking about, but a huge shout-out to too risky there, but if you're feeling risky, go over to Ringside Collectibles, guys, and you can pick up any of the best figures of the year or the worst figures of the year using promo code MD Toys to save yourselves 10%. But I had a lot of fun making this video, even though we had to cover the worst stuff. I am passionate about these WWE figures, and that is why I make these worst and best rankings and all these tier lists, because I love these things. I love fixing them up, which is why we do surgery. And I'd like to think that my passion for collecting, my passion for customization, my passion for everything WWE and WWE figures and wrestling action figures and all that good stuff is why you guys appreciate and enjoy the channel, and maybe because I'm a John Brown idiot moron. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and be sure not to step over that line. You crossed the line, I've been